YouTube, welcome back, you're here with Gabriel from Renegade Blasters and today we're going to check out something really really special it's a new job blaster shotgun called the M97 by a company called Hanky now the company's been around for quite a while but this is their first job blaster uh, product uh, and from what we can tell they seem to be on the right track and seem to know what they're doing quite well now we've got a pre-release model here uh, they haven't officially been released yet, they will come out in the first week or so of, of uh, June and so we're very excited about that as I think a lot of you enthusiasts are. Uh, this is the first of its kind in terms of a shotgun blaster and the reason I say that is because it actually has the buckshot feature. You know there's been quite a few um, job blaster shotguns in the past but they just you know they've just been quite tacky they didn't really perform that well uh you know plastic and and they just they didn't have the buckshot feature which is i think critical when it comes to shotgun gel blaster you want it to be true to its form and true to its kind so you know this is what we actually uh just slapped together and we used it out in the field uh, on the weekend it's it's had a couple hundred rounds to it and it i'll tell you what it still still performs and sounds like new it, it still puts out the same fps as when we put it out of the box and it's quite impressive to be honest uh, so moving on let's see what comes in the box first of all you've got your brand new m97 gel blaster you've got your safety glasses you've got a different type of tip flash hider or muzzle whatever you want to call it uh, we, we'll keep the red one on just for safety measures uh, you've got a little o-ring there which from what i've been told if you actually install the o-ring um, it switches from buckshot to just single single fire so you can keep a single fire or you can leave it as it is standard and switch between your buckshot and your standard which we'll go through and uh, show how that goes as well then you've got a metal swivel sling attachment uh, which is really cool because uh, you actually got three sling points on this let me show you on the on the one out of the box so you've got a sling point attachment there there and at the back and that actually unscrews as well so you can put a customized stock on there give it the look you want and the last thing of course is your 10,000 pack of jaws which is probably a little bit excessive for a shotgun but you know you'll find a way to use them I'm sure you will so what is really cool what stands out about this you know job blaster shotgun well first of all it's full nylon it is not on uh, it's nylon from from stock to the tip except I think I'm pretty sure just that it's that little cover on there that looks like ABS apart from that all nylon quite solid it doesn't have a, a tacky sound to it it's quite solid quite well built very very nice grip on the handle very nice feel uh, you know no rough edges it's just, it's just a nice mold nice clean lines um, it's just a really really brilliant little little uh, shotgun the dust cover or breech opens with every shot and personally what I think really sets this thing off what really makes it special is just that sound I don't know if you can get that now I think they've, they've designed it like that on purpose to give that true shotgun sound you know it is just brilliant brilliant and it really is just the cherry on the top for me personally uh, you've got a couple of uh, 20 mil Picatinny rail touch uh, rails there for customizing it and putting all kind of uh, add-ons to it attachments now this is an internal hopper fed uh, blaster and that's where you fill it up through that little that little sliding door there or just through the, the rear eye inside just remove that back and you fill it up now the gel ball capacity you know you could probably cram about 25 in there at most but I'd say about 15 to 20 if you're just quickly filling it up is probably what you get out of it uh, what else can I say? It's just a good all-round blaster. It performs well, feels solid. If I if I may, there are a couple of things that I'm, you know, that, that I don't really like about it. And first of all, that would just be, you know, it sounds a little bit, a bit tinny, a bit plasticky. But like I said, it's been used out in the field all day, and it hasn't broken, hasn't come loose. It's still, it's still holding on nice and strong. Um, also we notice that it just splits ever so slightly if you rotate that it just splits the plastic a little bit not a big deal look it's neither here nor there at the end of the day uh, it still performs very very well we have uh, you know about 280 to 330 feet per second for a buckshot is what you can expect out of this on average 
um, and then you know single shot we actually just got 800 out of it just before we tested and got 800 but it's not it's not uncommon to get 700 600 but most commonly on average um, 280 to 330 for for a buckshot and about 400 450 or so for a single shot that's that's about where you, you know where you'd be all day long um, besides that I'll tell you what it's just a pleasure to use pleasure to handle it's just really nice to hold and one of the other awesome features that I did touch on you can unscrew that little end cap there and you can attach a buffer tube and a stock of your choice this is just the uh, the stock that you get off the Wells M4 uh, and a metal buffer tube we had lying around and it's just a nice it's got quite a bit of weight to it um, just a nice nice stock well it looks good on anything really but the brilliant thing is it's just a universal screw on uh, you know buffer uh, buffer tube and you can put that on basically anything and it'll take it and no problems at all so yeah before we go uh, I think that's a bit I think we covered everything we will come back in a moment and show you how this thing performs throughout chrono what kind of distance we get what kind of accuracy we get and of course chrono readings and people second which I'm sure all of you are, are excited about so stick around we'll be right back all right guys so we're going to run this uh, m97 through a uh, chrono reading we're going to run some gels to it and i think we're going to stick with the probably go with the blue ones this time I just find that they work a little bit better with the with the manual blasters now you want to hold it angled slightly forward as you're as you're filling up the hopper just because they tend to go that way into their mechanism Now what I probably didn't mention before is the angle you hold it at when you when you clock it will affect how many gels it shoots out. So we'll uh, we'll see what kind of results we get and how many gels we shoot. They they will usually vary quite a bit uh, depending on how many gels you shoot, whether it's a uh, you know five six or, or just one. But it is, you know, high 200s, uh, even a 500 or something, 600 or something in there. So in a 300, you know, dead flat. It's not bad. It's, it's usually typically what you can expect. Um, simply because, you know, you're not always shooting just one job, or sometimes you shoot one, sometimes you shoot two or, or three. So it just depends on the angle. The, the lower the angle that you hold it at, so if you hold a point to the ground, pretty much straight down, you will shoot six five six no problems of course the fps readings will be a little bit lower but generally speaking uh it still performs quite well i'll do that one again as well but uh yeah 300 310 so there you go for as far as chrono readings go it is a little bit all over the place because it does shoot you know wildly more or less gels depending on how you clock it and how you hold it uh, now we're going to do a range test so we're just going to do a quick range test we're at exactly 12 meters from our target and we'll see how we go with that As you can see, it hits the target with quite a bit of force, makes the distance every single time, and um, now you'll feel it at 12 meters, don't worry. Now it does go as far as about 25 meters with a single shot. With a, uh, with a buck shot, you'll get 12 meters quite consistently, and with quite a bit of accuracy. We'll try that again, we'll see how we go. about it but as you can see makes the distance no problem at 12 meters 
You want more uh, you want more gels to come out when you're shooting, just hold it more at an angle when you're cocking it. Hold it level when you want single shot mode. Or if you want to just keep the single shot, change that little uh, O-ring. But there you go, guys. Thank you for watching. That has been an absolute pleasure to, to you know, it's an absolute pleasure to, to handle. It's a, it's a brilliant experience as far as the blaster goes. It's really unique, really special. Uh, and I'm very excited to see what you guys come up with in terms of upgrades, in terms of... Uh, in terms of tactical accessories and so forth it is going to be a very very big hit i'm sure of it and uh, we're very excited to have it thank you so much for watching guys i'm gabriel from Moongay blasters and we'll see you in the next video